down near the thing. That's that's pathetic. <laughs> you don't even know how to crack a beer properly. My, I trimmed my fingernails. I got you don't use your fingernails to open up beer, dude. I got you beer all rip over it my open face. with your your index finger and your thumb, and then you peel it back. Or sometimes you can even bite into a beer can. You should shotgun a beer sometime. I don't even know how. I think you you cut into the bottom, right? Yeah, so it shoots out. I've never done it. I've only ever seen it. No, I've seen real people. I've actually gone out and had fun with people, unlike you. Alright, I'm back. Okay. Uh, gonna be back after a sip of that shit. That's Ooh. good. I like that. It has a citrus aftertaste. Yeah, that's kind of lemony. Voodoo Ranger. Yeah, yeah. Voodoo Ranger IPA. New Belgium. Yeah. It's got a skull guy on it with a cool hat. Well, yeah, that's their logo. I'm enjoying this. No, that's good. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You were talking about a movie earlier? Yeah. This is James and Jordan Talk to the Internet. And I'm uh, I'm Jordan. I'm James. Episode yeah. 7? 9? No, it's definitely not 9. Episode 7? I think so. Hold on. Let me double check on Google Podcasts where you can I don't find even know how many episodes of Star Wars there are, so... There are nine. Are you including Rogue One? I'm including everything that is Star Wars related. Holy, uh, I'm going to say 25. This is episode eight. Okay, episode eight. Yes. I saw a comedy last night that wasn't funny. But it was funny for the wrong reasons. Like, I, I was kind of laughing at it. Because I couldn't believe that this was the movie I chose. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Right. So, started out... You watch a lot of weird movies. Here's how it started out. Just for the hell of it. I got on Netflix. Everything. Just Night Stalker. Cecil Hotel. Yeah. Serial Killer This. The Murderer Next Door. Everything was just about people murdering people. And I was like... Which you're into? Right, but then I was like, you know what, like, maybe I should just not watch something about somebody getting murdered or serial killers, just just for one night. Yeah. I'm going to watch a comedy, and I'm going to and I'm gonna feel good, and I'm going to have nice dreams. Change it up a little. Right, so I was scrolling down, because as you do, you scroll through Netflix. Um, just endlessly. Right, so I was doing that, and then I, it got to the point where I was like, no, nah, I don't want to watch anything. And then I ended up on this category called raunchy comedies. Yep, I'm familiar. Right, so that's a category. And then I'm going through that, aimlessly scrolling, not liking any of the trailers, and I came across one movie called The Package. Okay, I can see where this is. It's one of those movies. Going. All right, so it was like a camping buddy movie. That's supposed to be like high school seniors, but they're all 25 to 30 years old. Spider-Man 1. Right, as most movies do it. So, they're all, yeah. They're all around my age. They're still in high school, but they're not. They're, they're actors, okay? Yep. So, there's that right off the bat. Um, so, <laughs> I was watching the trailer, and it's about a group of friends who go on a camping trip. And it's supposed to be like just a buddy movie with some guys going camping but it turns out one of the guy's sisters and her friend are coming with them and they didn't know they go camping and i just figured the movie was oh maybe this some funny stuff's gonna happen just a group of friends that go camping and you know crazy stuff occurs you know and what got me to watch the movie was there was one scene where one of their friends gets injured and one of the guys is like uh we had a call, you know, Light Life, the, the, <laughs> the hospital helicopter to come get us because they're like six miles out into the woods in the middle mm -hmm. of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and so uh, one of the guys like, um, like they're, they're all with their friend and then the helicopter comes and they're like, hey, and it just flies by them. So I was like, OK, that's kind of funny. This is just the trailer. This yeah. is before I watched the movie. And then uh, they're like, oh, shit, you know, and then uh, one of the guys is like. I know how to get their attention and he grabs one of those little green like propane 
tanks that you use for, for cooking a barbecue yeah yeah he grabs one of those and throws it in the fire pit and he's like everybody run and they're all like hiding and like all of a sudden it's just like like a huge explosion and then it just cuts to uh like they're lifting the the helicopter guys like lifting their friend up and he's like which one of you guys thought of the fireball idea and the guy one of the guys like puts his fist out and he's like that was me dude and the guy's just like you're a fucking idiot <laughs> like so like that i was like okay that's funny i'll watch this movie so i watched the movie yeah thinking like that happens maybe you know towards the end of the movie yeah like crazy stuff leads up to that first 15 minutes no first this, scene in the movie first 15 minutes yeah you're pretty close it, maybe even sooner <laughs> but this is where i would like t- i can't even believe like what this movie was about they go camping right do they have to get a little wedding after so it's it, no no uh no this is not even like you would not have even like knowing nothing about this movie you would have not thought that what happened was going to happen and that this movie was about that it was like not even funny i didn't even laugh maybe like once but i could not stop watching it because i was like what the hell's gonna happen next like what this isn't funny but it was raunchy oh yeah it was in the raunchy category <clears throat> mm-hmm. raunchiest thing i've ever seen in my life wow that's and I, I suppose I should have expected that. Seems how I selected it from a category called raunchy movies, raunchy comedies. But let me, okay, let me just tell you what happened. Let me, let me take a sip. Yeah, take a sip. That's a pretty good sip. You slammed it on the table. Are you scraping you gave me beer a, off it? You gave me a coaster and I just spill it on the table. Anyway, so I put the movie on. Everything you see in the trailer. Yep. Is what you see right off the bat. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, bunch of three three guys just trying to have like some some guy time together. Yep. One of them's upset because his ex girlfriend. They're kind of get a casual thing. She's coming too, but they're friends. But they used to. She used to like blow him. Okay. So you got that. So that's that's a little raunchy. Yeah. Um, and then the other guy's sister is also coming, but the guys didn't know that. So one of them's kind of upset about it, and then. One of the friends, so it's his twin sister and her friend that are coming. Mm -hmm. And these guys didn't know that the girls were coming. Um, That would make you a little upset if you showed up and there was an extra two people there. Yeah, one of them just wanted it to be like just guy time, you know, some some bro bonding. A bro vacation. Yeah, it wasn't anything like, they weren't going to like blow each other or anything. They were just, you know, they're just friends. As far as we know. Right, the movie didn't go in that, well, oh my god, I uh, I'll get to that part. Okay. All right. So the guy's sister comes. Movie's called The Package, by the way. I I Uh, think I mentioned that. You did. Right. Which is, makes sense as I explain the story. Okay. So one of the guys, the guy's twin sister, the guy who's driving there in a van comes and um, like first scene, he's pretending to jerk off with a, like a uh, hiking stick. As you do. And his mom's like, I can see you jerking off with that hiking st-. I was like okay this is this is getting raunchy this is this is yeah this is gross humor uh and then he's trying to get his friend to who's back from Germany for a week yeah he's uh doing like an exchange program um he's trying to get his twin sister to have sex with his his friend okay as you do very beginning of the movie <clears throat> this is all going down I'm like yeah. okay this is yeah so he like gives him a condom and everything and he's like, hey, use this on my sister or don't, you know, like I don't mind being an uncle. Fucking weird thing to say to a friend. No oh, way. That's totally normal. I say that to everybody. Hey, I want you to bang my sister. Yeah. Here's a condom mm-hmm. or don't use it. So yeah, this is the, like, this is like 10 minutes in mm-hmm. or not even 10. Okay. So five minutes in the movie. Let me, let me rewind. Here there was go. a lot in this that was just like, like raunchy humor that's not even funny but it it's funny but it's like i didn't laugh like i only think it's funny because like i can't believe they made a movie like this so it's like first scene very first scene let me just start so that's that's a little later before they go into the woods got all that very first scene five minutes into the into the movie the guy's uh main character he's packing his bags to go camping you know he's 
he's like 30 years old but he's 18 you know mm-hmm. yeah. so he's packing his bags <laughs> to go camping and he's like tucking his sh- uh, shirt into his pants like he's kind of nerdy looking and then he goes out and he's like oh it looks like my friend's here i'm going out to the woods and his family's like oh have fun son enjoy your camping trip and he's got his little brother like maybe like maybe like eight years old or whatever like little brothers there with his mom and his dad on the couch and they're watching tv and it's all like happy and then it just cuts to his friends outside and like selects their family wi-fi so he hacks into the tv to like chromecast that's how that works yeah yeah whatever so he does that and he just puts on like porn Uh like a big fat woman getting like plowed (laughs) this is five minutes into the movie okay and i was like what the hell is this so it's like their whole like wholesome family and then all of a sudden it's just the tv just cuts to like uh, uh, and like the kid starts crying and i was like i had to pause it i was like what the fuck like so that's that's five minutes in Uh they get in the car they get their friend uh one of their friends has a fake id he found a a military id um (laughs) with a guy who doesn't look anything like him Uh uh-huh and he's like they they acknowledge that and he's like well you know no one's gonna say anything because i'm military you know they don't want to mess with a ranger and they're like oh okay (laughs) so he's got a fake id Mm -hmm. this is like any high school movie except way way too raunchy and it wasn't even funny um so he's got that and he's like yeah i found it and i also found this cool knife and he's like flinging it around so they go camping the whole time he's flinging this knife around right does he cut a finger off? So he's got the knife. Okay. Just, just let me explain this movie. Okay. You're taking a long time to explain. No, no, this no. Movie. Okay, okay. I'll get to it. Uh, so he's flinging the knife around. Blah blah blah. They he buys some liquor from this guy who's like, oh, ex-military ranger, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. And then uh, they buy a bunch of beer and they buy uh, some hard liquor. They're passing it around. Mm-hmm. Taking uh, swigs. They're getting pretty hammered. Yep. As you do when you go camping with your bros. Right. And they're, uh, and, and two girls. And they're, um, yeah, they're like six miles out, in, out into the middle of nowhere. Uh, they're all drunk. One of their friends goes to take a piss. Um, and two of the other guys are like, oh, let's sneak up on him and scare him. So they go, this is, this is like maybe 15 minutes in. Mm-hmm. They go up and they're like, ah, like they jump him. And he's like, oh my god and like you just see this thing fly into the woods and it was his dick he cut his own dick off he cut his dick off with the knife okay that he was playing with Uh uh-huh and then you just it's like slow motion you just see like a stream of piss and then just blood instead of piss like pissing out okay and i was like okay i didn't see that coming and then i shit you not the entire movie was about he gets like flown to the hospital and they give the guy his dick oh does he get a like a go-go gadget dick no they give the no there's no no they get they give the uh the the medic like the guy's dick they got two coolers right they fly him off next morning like you know they were drinking so they're hungover or whatever they open up the cooler and his dick is inside of it okay so the entire movie, after the 15 minutes leading up to him chopping his dick off, was his friends trying to get to the hospital so his penis could be reattached right. so that he could bang this woman that he was getting catfished by. All right. That's the whole movie. So they didn't check the cooler first? No, it, but I mean, I, I can't also even... Also, you're not supposed to put it in a cooler. You're supposed to put it in like damp paper towels. I, I don't know how that works, but I was not expecting you the entire... So the in. whole movie was just about dick jokes, and the part about the sucking sucking the dick, mm-hmm. one of his friends has to suck the severed penis. Okay. Because they go into this old, like, abandoned, like, ranger shack out in the mountains somewhere, because mm-hmm. they're trying to find people to get them... Closer to the they're hospital. Still camping. Yeah. Well, they're just they're miles out into the woods. Like they're so. One of the girls opens a drawer and a rattlesnake is in there, and it comes out, and she jumps, which 
knocks the penis out onto the ground. Mm-hmm. And it's gross looking too. Like yeah. it looks real. And then the snake bites the dick. Mm-hmm. And then there's like a four minute like argument about who has to suck the poison out of their friend's dick. Which I also believe you're not supposed to do anymore. No. So the main character ends up doing it. And then yeah, at the end of the movie, the doctor's like, yeah, you don't even, that's not how that works. That was, he just, that was, there was no poison in the penis. The snake just bit it. I was like, okay. But like, those were the jokes made in it. And it was just like, not funny, but it was like, I'm glad I watched it because what the hell? You got to experience the phenomenon. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it, was, it has a 5.5 on IMDb. So, some people out there... What do you think Sharkboy and Lava Girl has? Uh, 2.3. I bet it's going to be higher. I'm going to say mid fours. I'm going to say f- it's going to have like a solid four. I've never even seen it, but I've seen clips and it looks bad. It is awesome. What the fuck? Is Sharkboy one word? Is that why? There it is. Uh, um, three point six. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It's a good movie. Yeah, but anyway, that movie is like one of the one of the weirder ones I've seen. Mm-hmm. And you sat all the way through it. Yeah, I had to. It when it wasn't like it was just like raunchy humor's like funny if it's used once in a while. Yeah, like the gag in um. Uh, what is it dumb and dumber dumb and dumber -er, the sequel which isn't really that good but there's a scene where the guy's like got a chocolate bar for his girlfriend but it ends up melting okay he uses the bathroom and he's like i see where this is smearing it everywhere like that that's funny like something like that like once in a movie's funny this entire movie was just like fucked up like raunchy humor because when the whole movie is about them trying to get a penis to their friend but like you didn't see that in the trailers, so you're just like, what the shit? <laughs> but like, like it was just so raunchy and gross that it, like it wasn't funny, and it was just like, I, I just, I had to watch it because I had never seen anything like that before in my life. Couldn't look away. It was like a car crash. Yeah, I mean, like I, I liked the movie. I'm not gonna lie, but like it wasn't good. It wasn't, it wasn't funny. It was just like <clears throat> the fact that somebody made a movie. <laughs> About a group of friends carrying around a penis to reattach to their other friend. I was like, I sounds mean, like a regular show episode or something. It's just weird. Well, I watched a movie the other day, which I'm gonna spoil because uh, I don't give a fuck. But if you're if you care at all about Godzilla versus Kong, spoilers. Uh, fast forward. Yeah, to I'm fine. Whenever I'm talking to the to the internet, if you care about that. This is going to be out in like two weeks, so you should have fucking watched it. You lost your chance. No, it's still in theaters. Whatever. You get a two-week window, though. When, until, when some movie's been out for two weeks, you're allowed to spoil it. Oh, is that spoilers. how that works? Yeah, that's how oh. that works. I don't do that. I just straight up like immediately yeah, I tell know. everybody. <laughs> what? I'm aware. <laughs> everybody at work is very aware of how you talk about movies. <laughs> What? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, were you going to watch uh, The Package? You, no. you get why it was called The Package, I'm right? Aware, I'm aware, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I'm talking about that time that you spoiled Star Wars. <laughs> what? When did I do that? With uh, the same guy who had the cookies or whatever. I, I don't want to say his name because I don't want to have to bleep it. You went up How to about, him and if you, you don't were like, wanna, well, I don't think we oh, need yeah, to bleep and then when names. The, How about you just call everybody Voodoo Ranger? When Voodoo now, Ranger, yeah, Voodoo Ranger. When you were talking to Voodoo Ranger right. about Star Wars and which you, which one was that the the, the one where um, the ninth one and you were like, oh, and then when Emperor Palpatine comes back as clones and everything, <laughs> it was like three days after the movie came out. <laughs> You just spoiled the entire well, movie. No, I think I said that he was like Ray's grandfather. Yep, which is... <laughs> How's that spoil the movie? That's a big deal. Is The whole trilogy has been who are Ray's parents? Who is Ray related to in this universe? 
You didn't see that coming? I thought no, it was dumb. I, well, I didn't give a shit. I didn't pay attention <laughs> to that movie, but you know. I watched it like three years after it came out. But yeah. Uh, yeah and I also it. spoiled the boys. Yeah. <laughs> You're not very good at that. <laughs> well, that second season was good. It was amazing. I can't wait for season three. And then people were like, you, you wouldn't watch it until there were like... Yeah, I gave up on that though. I yeah, I think that's it. dumb. Just watch the episodes as they come out. But then, I, I, then what do you have to talk about at work? Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Anyway, what what were you saying? So Kong versus Godzilla. Okay. Yeah. Right. Fucking fantastic. I loved it. If you like old like mystery science theater movies <laughs> that they did, like Gamera, I love Gamera. That's mystery science theater right there. Yeah. Um, if you like that, I think this is a very good example of a uh, now version of those movies where the visual effects are kind of weird and it's just stupid and it doesn't make any sense, but you're watching a giant monkey fight a big lizard, so you don't really care. It's great. Like Once you just accept that nothing matters, it's awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of how Godzilla has always been. <laughs> like... I, I'm tired of these the night like the 1998 one or 99 or whatever the one with Ferris Bueller in it. I don't want any of that shit. I don't want any of the the origin. I don't want any of the you know. You know what I never understood in that movie. Most of it probably. No, no, no. The one part to this day that I still think about mm-hmm. is when he holds a lighter up to that old man's face and he's like, "What did you see, old man?" And he's like, "Godzilla." And the Ojira. guy's like, but like, that oh, doesn't make any sense. What what's the lighter going to do? Makes it more ominous. He's not threatening him though. He's like trying to get him out of like a out of shock. But like, why is that? A, I've never heard of that. Why do you put a fire is going to calm some guy down? Get him to talk. I don't know. Maybe he was doing that thing to see if your pupils dilate, but he didn't have a pen light. Oh, to see if he was like high. Well, you know, if you're in shock, your pupils don't dilate or something. Or you're rolling on Molly. You think they were rolling on Molly when Probably. they were in that shipwreck? Saw a big ass dinosaur. <laughs> Sounds like drugs big. to me. Um, yeah, it also changes size throughout the movie. Mm, no, that that scene doesn't make sense. Yeah, the whole movie doesn't make sense. I don't need any explanation about where Godzilla came from. I don't need any backstory for godzilla i just want to see godzilla well wasn't he like fuck shit up he was in the ground right in which one the new just, one isn't he just weren't they like a bunch of beasts that live on like underground so i then? think in the matthew broderick one i'm sorry ferris bueller and the ferris bueller one well I, i'm not he was an iguana he, and yeah, then he got irradiated in right, the 40s right yeah no i'm not talking that that but, movies can just be like <laughs> Just ignore it. You don't consider that canon? But in the new one... I actually really liked that movie when I was a kid. It's pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> it's not a bad movie. It's trash. It's, it's not that bad. It's terrible. I, I, I need to rewatch it. The part where it, all the I... little Godzillas turn into the raptors from Jurassic Park? Yeah. Um, in the in like the... The New train York station Knicks. or whatever? No, they're in a stadium. Um, but in the new one, they're like ancient... There are all these ancient. Yeah, beings. I'm talking. I'm talking about the the new ones, the the last three. I saw the first one, the there, four. Yeah, there's Godzilla. Which one's that? Godzilla with Ryan Cranston. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I saw that one. Godzilla. There's Kong Skull Island. There's Godzilla King I don't of the Monsters. Those to be. They're the same franchise. How? Because they're all connected. Well, Godzilla is Japanese. Yes. And. I'm assuming American uh, <laughs> studios purchase this, or did, did they film Godzilla movies back in the day in America? So the first Godzilla movie, I actually know a little bit about this. The first Godzilla movie was Japanese, obviously. Yes. And then it was all about like post getting a bomb dropped on them, nuclear stuff, right? Right, sure. So they wanted to bring it over to America because they thought like this big ass dinosaur was going to be kind of cool, but they didn't think American audiences were ready to accept that they were the bad guys in that situation. (laughs) What? So they like cut the whole movie to shreds and added this white guy as the news reporter. (laughs) Well, yeah, I mean, 
and any, then any just, movie like, america is always saving everyone a bunch of the dialogue they just cut like they didn't add subtitles to half the shit they put music over everything <laughs> it's like it's the most horrible way to watch the movie is to watch was, the american release well um king kong came out in 1933 right i have no idea oh he's googling it fact check this. but i'm telling you that kong skull island is part of this universe yeah i just don't know how they combine those well i mean i guess it's they're yeah it's like an alien predator type shit yeah the big I old guess. big old titans um, they call them so anyway went immediately to uh, what it, in the first one in the first godzilla 2014 uh, Godzilla. They explain it how they've been around for you know forever, basically. And in the forties, they act. They woke one up. They woke Godzilla up with the nuclear bomb tests. One of them, and then all those other tests were them trying to kill it. Right. I I remember. I saw the first one. Yeah. I don't really remember much of the first one. <laughs> no, I I got the it it, it was nineteen thirty three. By the way. So then, first appearance, Kong. I think that that island where Kong is, that's where, because it's sort of like a Bermuda Triangle situation, I think, in the movie. And the ship that got destroyed, everybody died except John Goodman. John Goodman's in this. Yeah, he's in the in yeah. Kong, Skull Island. So Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jet. How have I not seen this? It's pretty good. When did this come out? When like everyone was 2017, depressed? 2016. Oh, really? Yeah. Shortly after Godzilla, it's the second one. Set in the 70s. I don't... Re- I thought that was like a shitty reboot of the... Um... Peter Jackson one? Was That's the one with Jack Black? Yeah. See, I hated that movie when it came out, when I first watched it, and I watched it as an adult, and I actually enjoyed it. Like, It's not that bad of a movie. Okay, I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. Um, but in the in Kong, they're talking about the hollow earth. This theory that there's a little hollow section of the earth at the middle. Is it a theory or is it a fact? Well, in this movie, is it's a fact. Godzilla didn't come out till like 1954, by the way. Yeah, I told you. It was post-war. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Do you think I meant the first? Guess I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> when the when they dropped the nukes in no, World War One. No, I'm I'm well aware of what happened in um, World War Two. So horrific. In Kong. <laughs> they talk about the Hollow Earth and how they think that all these titans, like, came from there, and they sort of found their way up to the surface, and there yeah. are a whole bunch of them. Oh yeah. And this thing, Monarch, I believe, is what it's called. It's like the inst- It's like Men in Black for these giant alien things, not aliens. They're big, big old Titans. John Goodman's kind of like one of the lead guys. And they get the army, the government, to let them go to this island so they can investigate because this is where a bunch of shit has been going down. And then they find Kong and like all these big ass spiders and these skull thingies with arms but no back legs and just a tail. They're pretty gross looking. Yeah, that's how it is in the... uh jack black one but they show up and they're like yeah this is awesome we're gonna do all these tests this you know they're dropping bombs was john goodman like running at all in this yeah a little bit because he's 68 years old i'm looking at that and he's got a weight issue yeah he's a little bigger but anyway they're (laughs) dropping bombs i just don't think they should have sent him there to test the to see if the earth is hollow because it'll why don't we just dig a hole i don't know (laughs) it doesn't make any sense (laughs) um and these bombs wake up these skull creatures and shit that they're bad yeah i would imagine kong's like you motherfuckers because he knows what's down there yeah he's like don't fucking wake these guys up they're bad news does he talk in this movie he does not talk oh does he make noises he does he pounds his chest does he go (laughs) i think that's an exact quote yeah from the movie that is that what seen? he does when he's like is that his way of saying like don't you fucking go into this hollow earth well they don't go into the hollow earth in this movie oh okay that's later so anyway how many how many movies do i need can i just watch this new one or do i have to see something i don't else? think it matters okay i watched them because i'm fucking sick of like 
me watching a goddamn like Spider-Man movie and having no idea what the fuck's happening. I'm Whoa. sick of it. Just I'm not going to no, watch no, them when no, they come out. No. What I'm not happens? I'm not sitting down and watching 15 fucking movies just to be able to understand how one movie works. Well, it's like 25. So, 25? <laughs> there are 25 Marvel movies. What the fuck? Yeah, see I'm not doing that. Well, you don't have to watch Probably like, half of them are them. shitty. But well, anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, okay. like some of them are shitty. No, like stuff happen. Like I'm watching Spider Man and I get it, and then like all of a sudden somebody just appears and I'm like, the hell is that? Like, who is Black Panther? Okay, so then they live in this land, and then I'm getting like DC and Marvel confused, and it's like I thought Wonder Woman was like in that same shit where like Black Panther lived, and like I just I don't I'm tired of that. Like, I get that it's really cool. Mm -hmm. I understand how cool that is, yeah. that the universe, I get that that's cool, but, like, yeah. who has the fucking time? You do. Sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever. I do. Anyway. <laughs> Lots you're of telling people me, do. So, anyway. And I, I don't want to... Avengers Endgame, biggest I'm movie getting, of all I'm time. I'm getting a little... Yeah, like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I feel like a goddamn, like, I need to be in a nursing home. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I don't know anyone, why. I don't know the names, I you forget watch, faces. You've seen, like, half of them, you just watch one a night for, like, three weeks and you're good. And then I would know what's going on? Yeah. I mean, it's not I hard. Know. I think I'd still get confused. Because then I'm going to end up, what's going to happen is I'm going to watch the new Marvel movie that comes out and I'm going to be like... Spider-Man 3 out later this year. And I'm going to be like, oh, is Batman going to be in this one? Like... I don't fucking know. That's just because you're dumb. No, I'm not. I know Batman's DC, but Batman's like my... I didn't know Wonder he's... Woman was. I didn't know who Wonder Woman was. I thought she was Superman's girlfriend. We've already discussed this. I mean, she it's has not... been. Was she? At points in time, yes. Yeah, so... Yeah. So... Not in any of Don't the laugh at me. <laughs> what? <laughs> not anything you've seen. I don't know. Somebody was like, have you seen Man of Steel? And I was like, no, I don't like Superman. <laughs> But then they force you to sit like like I like bat I love Batman. Yes. Batman's my my superhero. That's mm -hmm. the stuff I like. I agree. Okay. Yep. Um and then they're like, oh, you gotta watch Man of Steel, then you gotta watch this. And I'm like, I'm not gonna watch a fucking uh, Superman movie because I don't give a shit about Superman. I think it's dumb. He takes his glasses off and everyone doesn't know it's him. That's just fucking dumb. That's bad writing. I in don't their care. defense. I in, get that it's like iconic. In that it, defense. Okay. When Christopher Reeve was shooting the first Superman movie, he would go out in costume as Clark Kent and nobody would come up to him. And then he would go in costume as Superman and everybody would swarm him. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway. So um, glasses in a suit and making I, yourself okay, look so, like a nerd yeah, so kind of works. Yeah, I, okay, I get, I get what you're saying. So he's wearing a disguise when he's not in costume. When he's yeah. in costume, that's who he is. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you say it like that, it makes sense. Makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, it makes more sense. The whole me. point of the okay, character. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. Okay, anyway. I'm not going to rant anymore about <laughs> you, Marvel. You done? I'm, I'm done. We're going we're gonna to shove that over. And uh, Can get back. Talking we're, about Kong? We're, yeah, we're gonna get back to Kong. Um, okay. But I just like the whole the whole thing that started that mm -hmm. was that I love that you said it doesn't matter if I've seen these other three movies. I think that you should absolutely watch them. It, because it I would think help, but I don't need to see them to well, know what's going on. I don't think you on. need to see a lot of the Marvel movies to understand what's going on. I think you just I have think to, you do. You I, need to see some of them and retain. We that We saw what was the one we saw in theaters? We went and saw Endgame. I didn't know. I didn't know any of those. I didn't know what was going on. Because you haven't seen any of the other ones. I'm saying you have to watch yeah. some of them, so that you know <laughs> so there, who the so characters there's some are. Can, oh my god, we're we're literally just going back to Marvel. <laughs> well, that's kind of the default, you know. It's. <laughs> I just. They're not I, like James. I just Bond said movies. I was done. Yeah, I I get that, but I didn't know. I didn't know who the guy with the uh, the Infinity Stone on his head. Vision. Yeah, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know who Doctor Strange was. I didn't know. But you you got it right, like at near the you you got he you got had... it from context. Like one of them was a wizard and one of them was like a robot. Because you saw Infinity War, you got mad when I assumed you hadn't seen it, but no, you saw it. I did see that. Yeah, so you know who Vision is. You know what his deal is. Um, 
you know that that whole like the Avengers are split up from Look, Civil oh, War. What? You know that because that happens. They talk about it. In, Look, a lot Infinity of a War. lot, a lot of it. Your problem is you don't retain the information. No, I don't retain it because there's just a lot of stuff happening in those movies. Because you're not a loser like me. You don't care there's about a, this there, stuff. No, there, yeah, I don't you care about shit. real I, stuff. I care about, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> so you gotta get rid of all that real stuff. You gotta get rid of like your car payments and your rent and all that stuff. You just gotta get rid of that in your mind, and then you can focus on Marvel. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> um. Um. Anyway, Kong. So, Kong right. Skull Island, they right. talk about the Hollow Earth, and they're like, oh. And you don't have to watch the other movies to enjoy this one. I don't think so. so. Okay, yeah. All right, so, um, Kong. There's some recurring characters, but that, you know, you pick that up, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. And. I saw the first one, so it should be good. So, they talk about the Hollow Earth, and then a bunch of them get eaten, and Kong kind of fucks some shit up, but they made it off, right? They got there. They made it. Woo. So then... To Skull Island? Yeah. They made it off. They got it off. Thumbs up. All right. So then... Godzilla 2. Godzilla 2? Yeah. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Did the other one die? What? No, this is the second movie. This is still Godzilla. Oh, oh, you're just... Oh, okay. You're just, okay. okay. So okay. He's, the, he's the King of the Monsters. So they talk about how... Godzilla is the apex predator. Boom. Bringing that phrase back. Um, I, I don't think they like actually Diane. say that in the movie. <laughs> Godzilla starts walking new. around in heels. Um, <laughs> I want to put on heels and be an apex predator. <laughs> um, but he... What's his name? Max Lord? Yeah. Yeah, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> it could be better. Okay, anyway. I love Pedro Pascal. Um, so in the second one, there's like this... There's this woman, and she's got her daughter, who's played by Eleven from Stranger Things. Right. And then... I meant to see that movie. I just never did. She has a husband. They're divorced. Her daughter? Yeah. Wait, that's from Stranger Things? Wait, what? Yeah, the actress who plays Eleven. Isn't she, like... How old is she? She's the daughter. She's, like... Oh, I thought you said she had a husband. 13. No. Yeah, I was like, she's kind of young for that. So, this woman and her daughter, the daughter played by... Stranger Things. Right, okay. This yeah, woman, yeah, yeah. who is her right. mom, okay. has a husband. Has a, okay. Who they've divorced, so no longer has a husband. Because, like, child brides, that's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't go there in don't, a Hollywood yeah. movie. Come I mean, on, unless like, you're, like, caveman. Like, we know, we know everybody in Hollywood's a fucking weirdo anyway. Except for, Like, uh, you don't need to put that shit on screen. Um, Harvey Keanu Reeves. Huh? Who, oh, Keanu Reeves? Yeah, oh, no. Yeah, cool. yeah, he's cool. Anyway. Sorry to interrupt you. So, the woman... Teams up with these terrorists <laughs> to okay. unleash all of these titans because they found a bunch of them, <laughs> like all over the earth, and they're all just kind of sleeping. And they're trying to, they're like waking them all up. What is this for? To like, what are they terrorizing? What's their so message? So they're breaking the earth down because humans are polluting too much. They're, <laughs> they're, they're climate <laughs> extremists. <laughs> <laughs> They're planning what? to blow the earth up. <laughs> okay. To get rid of people. <laughs> what but... the fuck? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> None of these movies make sense. I really want to watch this now. <laughs> so they're talking about bringing balance you have to bring balance back into the balance earth. to the force yeah <laughs> yeah yeah um <laughs> what do they think's gonna happen to them <laughs> are they just like are they like suicide bomber type uh, no, level of just like think so. bucket? Um, but they're they're trying to wake up all of the all of the monsters, and they find there's one that they found that they don't know what it came from. It's oh like, no, like the one monster it's, that's it's like Gittera. Oh, this one's worse than the other ones. It is. You it see that one heads. that like destroyed an entire city? Yeah, you're not gonna want this one to get out. But basically, the, this what one's the from fuck? space. What? This three-headed one's from space. There's it's no, from but another... he was hanging out in the hollowed earth? Well, uh, yeah, he's Earth's frozen spinning? in the ice. How are we... We're taking our knowledge of physics, okay, it's we're just throwing it out th- the window. Okay, it doesn't make I any like sense. That. I like that. It doesn't fucking matter. I like that. It makes me feel smarter. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because you're just, you're on the same level as everybody else. Nobody knows. Nobody knows anything. Nobody cares. Yeah. I don't um, give a shit. So then the dad, the government comes to the dad and they're like, hey, your wife's being a bitch. Can you help us out? 
And he's like, we gotta kill them all. We gotta kill all those. We gotta kill Godzilla. Um, Godzilla's the one who, he's, he's good though, right? Well, kind yeah, of. yeah. He also kind of attacked people later on. Well, I mean, he's yeah. just, I, well, the first one wasn't really like, he was just trying to kill those, like, um, the ones that wanted all the, like, were they eating like nuclear energy or something yeah, I for don't, snacks? I don't really remember what was going on there. But he's the king, right? He's the king. So this other right. one from space, they're, you know, they've got, they're like two bucks in a, two alpha males in a pack, you know? Can't have that. It's like Vin Diesel and The Rock. Um, They're both in Fast and Furious. Yeah, apparently they don't get along. Vin Diesel, from what I've seen, is... um. I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson has nothing to worry about. I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson... Is probably a more likable guy. I like Dwayne I'm, Johnson. I love him. Uh, yeah, Vin Diesel's like I don't know. I've weird. Seen... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some, some weird shit. That he's freak. Done. I don't know. He could be a cool dude. No, we it don't doesn't know. seem like it. Uh, not from what I've seen, but you you don't know. I mean, uh, he might yeah, be that yeah, that yeah. Yeah, sort of like that weird guy. Kind of like he... how Hitler was misrepresented in history books. You know, like well, kind of a cool guy. You know, um, um, that's what you're saying is that Hitler was a cool guy. That's what that's that's your... like the furthest <laughs> shift from like that's so far so anyway, Godzilla too. extreme <laughs> that it doesn't you can't even compare. Yeah, you basically you just you try <laughs> to compare Vin Diesel to Hitler. Like that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah, it's right on track with the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so Godzilla. <laughs> so Godzilla. Speaking of Hitler. <laughs> Let's go back to Godzilla and these eco terrorists. Well, I just right the eco terrorists. Right, what I I was trying to say, or maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. I don't even remember. I don't Who know knows? what the fuck we're talking about anymore. Ugh. But like, I think Godzilla. Yeah, he was. He's he's a good guy. He just uh, he's really big. Yep. And he he's got to watch where he's stepping. He wrecks a lot of shit. I yeah, watched a video that showed all the stuff that was destroyed in in the first movie uh-huh. with Ryan Cranston. Yep. Um, it was like the price to like trillions for, of dollars. Yeah, and it's like trillions of dollars. He just like destroys like Miami and shit. <laughs> Wait till we get to the fourth one, baby. He uh he takes some shit out. Um, but in this one they wake up the space one and they wake up all the other ones, whatever. But they have this little box that sends out this frequency because they all emit this this frequency, right? And that tells you right. where they are in the pecking order. So they they combine a bunch of these sounds with Godzilla and humans and stuff like all together. So when he goes, and when like, they push the button, that gives out this frequency, and all the yeah. other ones are like, "Oh shit!" Gotta, are they making the noise like kind like, of? You know when Godzilla. It's kind of like a subsonic. What's your or an best Godzilla thing? scream? That's actually pretty good. Yeah. I watched the movies. Yeah. How do they make that noise? Probably like poking an elephant with a stick. I want to know where they got Godzilla's scream from. Uh, it's pretty good in the new ones. It's pretty solid. It's such an iconic screech, too. Yeah. It's like you don't even need to... You can just hear that and know it's Godzilla. Um. Anyway, carry on. So then the daughter's like, fuck you, mom. I don't want to kill everybody. The Stranger Things. Yeah. So she steals a little box. And she goes to the Red Sox Stadium. What is it called? Ridley Field? That's not it. What is it? Do I look like somebody who enjoys baseball? I don't know. No. Um, I literally, well, I, re- I told you the other day that I wanted a, a Nikes. No, or no it was yeah, a, a Yankees. Yankees yeah, jersey Nikes, no, or, or whatever. whatever. Yeah, I, I wanted a Yankees hat. But you because were Because the symbol's <laughs> iconic. But I don't like baseball. I just think it looks cool. And I like New York. Um, but I feel like people will get pissed at me. Yeah, because baseball fans are freaks. Some yeah, of Marvel I mean, fans and everybody. Everybody is a freak. Just calm down. Other people can like stuff without liking it as much as you. Uh, sports are different than movies, though. Yeah, it's weird. You don't see, like, you can actually get in a fight over sports. There's a guy who spoiled Endgame when he was caught walking out of the theater, and people beat the fucking shit out of him. Well, you put the words back in my mouth. <laughs> Those people were heroes that day. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I yeah. Don't don't fuck with shit. I would have been like, he would have been like, oh help me, and I would have been like, he would have been standing there like, filming it. Like, <laughs> the guy's getting the shit beat out. 
I just would have been like, well, dude, you know what you did? Like, I, I would help him. I'd help him a- after the beating. Yeah, I would I'd walk be like, up. I'd go up and, and I'd, I'd be like, I'd, are, you, be like, are you okay? Are you okay? Do you need a hospital? Like, go to the hospital? Do you hear I got some band-aids on me? But like, you know what you did was wrong. And you know you had this coming. I'd walk up. You I'd know. put my finger in his face and say, you fucked around. You found out. And then I'd, I'd uh, call somebody. Um, um, so then the end of the movie, Gitaro shows up to the, the baseball stadium and Godzilla comes too. And they fight. Wait, she, I'm forgetting a part. She does not look. She, she's 17. That's bullshit. She looks like She looks like she's 30. 30. Yeah. Um, she looks like Princess Leia. <laughs> She's the new Princess Leia. Oh my God! We don't have to do the face and, swap. And Sebastian Stan is that uh, is a thing. What's her name? Mark Hamill. Millie Bobby. Millie yeah. Bobby. Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. She's Princess Leia. So then, uh, early in the movie, the Just blew my mind. The army blows up a, an oxygen destroying bomb while Godzilla's fighting Ghidorah. Hey, hold on. Can I just like? Yeah. Can I just do one of the like the. Like, that's me rewinding the yep. tape recorder. Uh-huh. An oxygen-destroying bomb. Yeah, it, like, wipes all the oxygen out of the atmosphere in, like, a certain radius. Is that radius. a thing? Can no. that exist? That's That stupid. doesn't... That's okay. Dumb. Okay, so it's one of those things that we're just, like, fine Yeah, with. we're fucking... Okay, we're I like flying. that. I like that. Makes me feel smart. So, so they what happens do then? that. Godzilla gets fucked up. He Shit. swims down to his little, his little hidey hole. Aww. And he's just sort of laying there, and they're like, well, we gotta... He's taking a nap. We gotta send a bomb in, like a nuclear bomb, that'll, you know, jazz him up. They're um, giving him that that uh, that uh butt shit. Yeah, they're the giving NFL him steroids. Players get, well, it's not steroids. It's no, some it's shit steroids. They, like, no, in NFL, it's like this, like, juice that just keeps you going. It's I just saw a whole documentary, yeah. No, I mean, it's... <laughs> it's one of those, it's the shot that they give uh, Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction. Which you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to put that directly into somebody's heart because then you're stabbing their fucking heart. <laughs> um, but they blow that up. Well, the Japanese scientist guy, he sacrifices himself to do it. And then the submarine is blown out of the water by the explosion. Totally fine. Everybody's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a submarine. Those things hold up. <laughs> so then the, they go to the stadium and the box is there. And Ghidorah's fighting Godzilla. Godzilla's still getting his ass beat. Um, then the mom shows up <laughs> with all the bad guys. And the good guys show up, and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's like, I had to do it. We have to restore balance. Um, and then they're going to get it onto a V-22 with the Osprey. Terrace? Yeah. I don't okay. think the terrorists are there at that point. I think they fucked off. Because they, they were like, like, we've done everything we want to do. Um, they were sort of like the insurrectionists. They and were, they well, kind of were like, oh, we shit, fucking I should cares. probably leave. Um, so they have nothing to do with the movie? Not really. I mean, <laughs> other than waking up the monsters, but that was kind of the scientist ladies thing. Um, was so, balance restored by the end of this movie? Well, Godzilla uh, turns red. What? And then he fucks... Uh, get her up I don't remember how because I kind of stopped paying attention <laughs> as with most of these movies um I think it was in the bathroom <laughs> you didn't even pause the movie you <laughs> no, were like I whatever I don't just give a shit going. I'll just walk back three minutes later and, well, I don't, I don't know what's going on anyway there's so. just a what, stream of piss and like in the background yeah. it's explosions yeah okay um so then the movie ends and the mom dies I forget how I think she gets eaten by Gitara. And who's Ghidorah? The alien from space. The three-headed yeah, thing? Yeah, three-headed flying dragon monster. Let me look up a picture. How do you spell that? Uh, G-I-D-U-R-A. U-R-A is not even... <laughs> E-R-A-H, U-R-A? maybe? U-R-A? Ghidorah. Bid- Bidurin injection? No. The- <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at. I don't know what... It. Oh, oh, he popped right up. Oh, it's G H I D O R. A-H. Yeah, G- Ghidorah. King Ghidorah. <laughs> um, you weren't even saying it right. King Ghidorah. Ghidorah. And the movie ends. The mom's dead. Oh, he's like... Mothra's dead also. Oh, Mothra, Mothra dies. Oh. Some of the other ones die too. 
Was Mothra a bad guy? Mothra was a good guy. Mothra and Godzilla kind of banged. That was he, she was his hoe. She was queen of the monsters. How big? What? How big was his? Um, they don't does show it. Sh- oh, they don't Dang. show. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, it would have been be- maybe like a director's cut will come out some years later. Hopefully, we'll get to see that. Um. So then, in the fourth one, it opens up with Kong. He's uh he's walking around. He's doing his morning routine. We see him scratch his ass. This is the new one. Yes. We see him pick his butt. <laughs> I like, like that. Like he's fingering him? Yeah, yeah he's just like... Rrr. Oh, so he, likes, he likes butt shit. Like yeah, butt sure, stuff. Whatever. Yeah, he's into that. Um, and then he, you know, he's kind of... He's showering in a waterfall. There's some happy music playing. He's walking around. He walks up. There's a little girl. What's this song? I'm walking on sunshine. It was not that. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. It was like... They always use like... Uh, what's it? What What's the, the Vietnam War music in every movie bam, about... Bam, 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 bam. It's like White Rabbit Credence Clearwater Revival Whatever That music It's like that era of music In every single one of these Every single Vietnam movie Yeah It's in all of these movies Um And He's like walking up And this girl made a little doll of him They're kind of like Oh having a moment And then he picks up a tree And he like Brushes all the branches off, so it's just the the like the stick. And he shoves it in his ass. And he fucking takes it and he just hurls it oh, into okay. the sun, and it smashes this giant screen in the sky. What? Because he's inside a big containment unit on the island. Oh my god. Yeah, it's pretty dope. And so it's like the Truman Show. Kinda, um, except he knows. <laughs> so then the scientist working there, little girl, she either can't talk, or is deaf, or both. Or she's mute, which would be can't she talk. can't talk. <laughs> she's one of one or all of those things. So she's signing away. So she's deaf. She could be mute too. She doesn't talk. Deaf people can talk. Do mute people use sign language? If you can't speak, what are you gonna do? Use yeah, sign I suppose language. They do, I guess. I yeah, don't know. I guess. I don't know sign language. I don't either. I kind of I knew the alphabet when I was a kid, but I can't do it anymore. I really want to learn that because there's actually been times in my life where that would have been really useful. It's really impressive. Because I had to watch. like a really, uh, well, no, I've just I've had people like try to ask me stuff who were just like only did sign language, and I was just like, <laughs> I wish I could talk to you. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, she's talking. The little girl sung to the science lady, and then these other people from the other place, like the science bitches, show up, and they're like, "We gotta take Kong. We gotta take him. He's gonna lead us to the center of the Earth." Okay. Because of genetic memory. Yeah, I'm not gonna question that at Doesn't all. Doesn't Sure, sure. Um, at this Do point it. in the movie, who cares? Uh, Eleven from Stranger Things. Thirty-year-old, seventeen-year-old who looks is, like a uh, hanging princess out with Leia. her dad. And she's like, hey, what's going on with Godzilla, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, why are you listening to that creepy podcast of that guy who's strange and has all these conspiracy theories? Alex Jones? Kind of. Oh. Sure. Um, but this guy's like, he works at the cybernetic. <laughs> cybernetic. Cybernetics company. Cybernetic. So Terminator 2. Kind of. Or Terminator 1, yeah. Mm, no, the second one's when they find the hand. Well, they found the hand in the first one. And then... Well, you don't see that. Anyway, <laughs> Miles Dyson. So, <laughs> they he's working at this cybernetics company. He's like, there's some shit going down. I've been undercover for five years. First of all, imagine going undercover at a company to expose their secrets for five years. <laughs> Can you imagine that? The, 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 ugh, I can't, ugh. Yeah, I can imagine that. Working for a company you hate for five years. Well, I mean, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. imagine that. I don't want to talk, but you know. I've had quite a few <laughs> shitty jobs throughout <laughs> um, the years. But things that they're like very morally against is what I'm saying. Well, I have no morals. Yeah, you're I'm a, like a nihilist, a, a, a complete Nazi. like horrible person. So I'd probably enjoy doing this. Um, so he's in there. He's like, I'm going to download some stuff. I'm going to give it to the people, right? And it's just stuff. Like, you don't have to actually know what he's doing. No, really. Okay, that's, I like that. I like that a lot. So then, 
I, I would even even if it off. just said like stuff that people need to know on the file and he He's clicked like, it. You and, can call me a whistleblower. Yeah, I I would. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Like, don't make me think. I went to uh, if you're in a movie, don't make me like think about it. Just fucking just just show me anyway. So the sirens go off. Um, and he's looking through this stuff, and it's like, oh, what's that? It's kind of, you don't really, it doesn't, like, text doesn't pop or any, up or anything. You just see some weird shit on the computer. And then Sirens go up, and he puts his hands up. He's like, oh. But turns out, uh, Godzilla's attacking. <laughs> Is it cool if I eat this banana? You want to eat that banana? Sure. I mean, we're going to have dinner here in a second. Oh, we got 16. We'll talk about that, that in a second. Um, And he is running away. He's, like, trying to, you know, discover some stuff, whatever. Godzilla is attacking. Nobody knows why Godzilla is attacking. I'll tell you why. They're building a robot Godzilla. This is where Robo Godzilla comes. Robo in play. Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla. Oh, I like that. Um. <clears throat> so then, Eleven from Stranger Things and this kid from her school, who's either Australian or New Zealand, from one of those countries. There's like a clear difference in accent. Well, I don't know that difference, so I couldn't tell you. Okay. Um. So they was she like, put another shrimp on the bobby? <laughs> Is that the first line she says? I mean, it's a, a slightly overweight other seventeen-year-old, and they take his brother's van, which looks like a it's a sketchy van, a and they're gonna fan. go find Alex Jones. <laughs> Dude, I saw a r- van at Circle K I last night. That. Why? Just because you, you, you have a rip fan. Stop it. Rip now there's stop. Fan. I'm gonna fucking cut this. So they steal this guy's <laughs> van and they go to find Alex Jones and Alex Jones helps them break into the thing. This is after he got out. Yeah. And they break back into the destroyed remains and they go down to sub level 33. Right? And they find their exporting all of these eggs or some weird shit the, the, from the island that Kong was at, those little skull things they find those and they're exporting them to Hong Kong so they accidentally get stuck in one of these shipping containers and get fucking the box like levitates and then just zooms down this tunnel to Hong Kong right? So we have tunnels leading all over yes. um, the planet. Mm-hmm. So then they get to Hong Kong, and they you know kinda... there's tunnels that lead all through the U.S., right? Uh huh. Yes. Secret. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Underground railroad. But literally, yeah. That's why it's called underground. It's so when shit it's goes really. down, the important people can be saved. Um. So they end up in Hong Kong. And they're kind of poking around, and they see Robo Godzilla, fuck one of these skull things up, and it just lasers it in half. Pretty badass. And then they're like, "We're only at forty percent power. We need more power. We need a new energy source." So at this point in the movie, they've gotten Kong on a boat. Kong has fought Godzilla on the boat because you can't have two apex predators, right? Sure. So they're they're on a. This is a large boat. I'm yeah. Assuming he's just sort of hanging out. He's chained to the boat. He's just you know sleepy, kind of tranquilized. Godzilla. No. Oh, Kong. Kong. Oh. And then Godzilla shows up because he's like, "Why is there another bro coming at me? Why is there a Dwayne Johnson when I'm Vin Diesel?" So he swims up, starts fucking shit up. The scientist guy unlocks Kong. Kong and Godzilla have a little bit of a scrape. Um. They kind of stun... Kong is losing this fight. And he... They get Godzilla with some depth charges. And they kind of... Discombobulate him. And he swims off. So then they fly Kong on... They have a bunch of helicopters with a big net. And they fly him... To the Arctic. That's where they're going. Because that's where the tunnel is to the Earth. To the center of the Earth. And then they have these cars that can fly... They've invented anti-gravity. So then they go to the center of the Earth. And mm-hmm. there's some shit there. One of the cars gets blown up. 
And then the scientist guy who built Robo Godzilla, his daughter's here. Trying to find the power source for this Robo Godzilla. So then they find like why this do they need Robo Godzilla to fight Godzilla? Because it's kind of like Batman and Batman v Superman, where it's like if if he turns, we need to have an option to fight him. Okay. Um. So then they find this temple that Kong sits in. And he finds an axe that glows, and then he puts it on the ground, and the ground starts glowing. And then they take a sample of it, and they transmit that data back up to the surface, to Hong Kong, so that they can power up Robo Godzilla to full power. And then Godzilla shows up in Hong Kong, and he uh, walks up and just starts blasting his blue breath down into the ground, drilling Which a is tunnel. Like fire. Right. Yeah, drilling yeah. a tunnel through to the hollow earth where Kong is. So then Kong it'll be back, don't worry. Okay. Um Kong and the car fly down to the surface of the earth. Gravity doesn't make sense. Don't worry about it. And they get there and Kong and Godzilla fight again. It's a huge battle, lasts probably 10 minutes of them just going at it. It's just like... They were just banging? They were just going at it, right? Kong gets a few good hits in. Godzilla gets a few good hits in. Godzilla fucking destroys him. It obliterates him. Like he dies? Almost. His heartbeat starts slowing down. So then they park one of the gravity cars on. The woman who was stealing the power source for her dad. Don't kick me. I didn't realize your feet were out that far. I'm chillaxing. Yeah, whatever. Her dad, her the, the that lady, her car gets crushed by Kong because he's like, fuck you. So then the other guy, he gets in his car and they're flying after Kong and they find him and he's got his ass beat. So they park the car on him and then they do something. And that takes all the energy and jump starts his heart again. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> and then... How long is this movie? I don't know. Like an hour and 45 minutes or two hours. Something like that. Oh, wait. wait no, wasn't it like 155? Who knows? Something. It's in okay. there. And he... The little girl signing to Kong. Because Kong can also talk now. He can sign. Right. Some apes can. Yeah. Bonobos. So they're talking. That's a big deal for a reason. Uh, she signs to him that Godzilla isn't the enemy because Godzilla is now fighting Robo Godzilla, which they are controlling the people with the skulls from Ghidorah, Ghidorah, because there were three, and those are all telepathically linked, I guess. And they're all, they're biological supercomputers, I believe they say in the movie. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. A biological supercomputer. Yeah. Who knows? And it's the skull. It's not the brain. It's the skull. So they have a dude in one of the skulls in like a Ready Player One outfit. And he is controlling Robo Godzilla, which I presume has another skull in it. So then Kong and Godzilla team up and fight uh, Robo Godzilla. And then they win, and then they kind of come to an understanding, and then the the Kong, that's not it. No. So then Kong goes and lives in the center of the earth, and Godzilla fucks off. That's Robo Godzilla right there. Yeah. So then uh, the movie ends, and we just don't ever address that there was intelligent life that built a seemingly religious temple (laughs) millions of years ago (laughs) like they just don't ever talk about that yeah why would you that would be boring oh this big monkey that can fucking detect when he's in a simulation can talk with very basic sign language uh he can communicate he can't talk they fucking had religion and advanced building techniques well there's gonna be a fifth one Hundreds of millions of years ago. They just don't talk about that. 
That's the biggest discovery of all time. Well, you're not, you're not paying to see stupid science bitch stuff. Or well, yeah, I, I agree. But also, you, you want to watch a giant lizard fuck shit up. That's I, why I you agree. Go to these movies, but I don't like how they don't even mention it. <laughs> yeah, that would probably bother me too. Like if but, you uh, just showed up, and like in this movie, there's not even a line of, "Whoa, this is this is weird." Anyway, back to the monsters fighting. It's just like they show up and they go, "Let's go." <laughs> like they don't address it. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> the metaphorical implications are endless. Great movie. I'll probably check it out. Eight out of ten. Would recommend. Anyway, so we're gonna take a quick break. Are we? Or you can just edit these two together. Right now, we have a... Oh, this is, this is Easter Sunday, by the way. Yeah. We're celebrating Easter. Uh -huh. um, and we have a plant-based ham-style roast with amber ale glaze. We're going to do the vegan shit today. Yeah. Save the planet. Don't, don't kill the animals. So uh, this looks absolutely disgusting. It's from Tofurky. Mm -hmm. uh, it smells like uh, we we have it in the oven right now. We're going to do a um, Rachel Ray, Martha Stewart type thing mm -hmm. where it's ready to go immediately. Yep. Uh -huh. And we'll probably just cut to that. Um, but uh, how would you describe? You're making a lot of uh, assumptions about the editing process here that you're not editing, by the way. No, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Leave all this in. I'll edit. I'll edit the shit out Your of this. Your computer can't handle that. No, it can't. <laughs> but I'm going to get a new laptop soon. Once the fucking federal government gives me my goddamn <laughs> money that it owes me. <laughs> Which I got like a month and a half ago. How did you, you got your tax return? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Months I got, ago. <laughs> I got the state one. I filed in February. I like filed the, the, the day, day that after. I could. Yes. Mine still has not come. I filed well before. over 21 days. Anyway, I filed before. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, I pre-filed. Anyway, anyway, I will call them eventually and be like, where the fuck is my money? <laughs> Jordan it, who? It's Tofurky. Tofurky. How would you describe the smell? This is vegan, by the way. It's vegan. Asshole. Supposed to, I, I wouldn't say that. I would say it smells like. Shit. Feces. No. Garbage. Um, no. It has a very smoky flavor to it, but it smells very much like dog treats yeah it smells you know disgusting. those little like bones you can give a dog that are kind of like chewy mm -hmm. okay it smells a kinda lot slim like jim esque yeah so it, yeah actually it, it smells like a slim jim that should be given to a dog can we agree on that yeah yeah i'll agree to that because those smell right. disgusting and then it comes with a um amber ale glaze that we gotta pop on we gotta couple minutes left yeah it takes uh, about an hour and 30 minutes to cook this thing yeah um we popped it in and then we started recording this podcast and we will try it in a little while what if it tastes exactly like ham well that's the thing is i don't like ham oh you're a so freak that's i can't ham. imagine me enjoying this ham because ham i do like real ham. ham the only way i can eat ham is if it's in a cordon bleu or maybe a sandwich. A ham steak, ham roast, anything like that. That's disgusting. I love some ham and potatoes. The way... Peas on there. Here's how I... It's good. I, the way I think ham tastes is if you went into a gym and you just licked the sweatiest guy you could find. That's yeah. what ham tastes like to me. I think that you're crazy. I think ham is very good. It's salty and... Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's sweaty... Wrong. What's wrong with salt? It's like licking a sweaty, sweaty dude Why in the gym. Why are you trying to lick dudes? I'm just saying that's what I would think of when I eat ham. Well, don't think of licking that. Licking a sweaty guy in a, in a gym. That. Yeah, do it's that. gross. I don't like it. I don't like it. I do like it. I think it's very good. I'm sorry, ham. Anyway, this costs... Um, Tofurky plant-based ham style roast costs $12. It's about the size of your fist. It is... What? It says it's 19 <laughs> ounces. That's not that big. That did not weigh over a pound. 
Like, there's no way. Maybe it includes the box in that. <laughs> I that think way. it's including the box. All the trappings. One pound and three ounce. No, no, no. It's t- it's you can. It's about the size of a baseball. It's like the size of your fist. What I said five minutes. Right. Anyway, so we're gonna try this. Yeah, we are. And hopefully, it's good. Probably won't be. Alrighty. Toss me the box. Hand me the box. That's not what you said. I didn't think it was going to come sailing into my face. It didn't come sailing into your face. I hear your headphones. Alright. How can I make this look as gross as possible? Just take a picture of it. Oh. 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 We don't try it yet. Oh, I don't want to try it at all. We have to eat this. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Hurry up. I don't want to be smelling it any more than I have to. So fucking gross. Only 220 calories, though. Alrighty, here we go. I'm not gonna try that top piece. You don't wanna try the the rump roast? Oh, oh my god, the texture! Oh, have you have you dug into it yet? Oh yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. It's not bad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, that's fucking gross, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> it's gross. not... Oh, you spit it out. Yeah, it's gross. Why don't you go rinse my mouth out? <laughs> so I'm taking this home with me? You want that? No, I don't... That's <laughs> disgusting. So, it's not bad. Um, The texture is... Like a tender ham. Um. Don't compare it to ham. It's not at all. It's, uh. Mmm. That is fucking disgusting. Well. <clears throat> I hate you. What, what if you cut it thin, thin sliced, you. and you put it on a sandwich? No. It looks like ham. Does not look like ham. Yeah, it does. Look at that. It looks like meat. I know what ham looks like. It doesn't look like ham. Why are you still eating it? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's that bad. Like, I don't like ham. This is better than ham. No, it is not. Hmm. Well, how would you describe this flavor then? Sugar? Salt? Oh, that piece isn't coming off. <laughs> yeah, because it's tough. It's developed a rind. <laughs> um, it's like eating an orange without peeling it. Oh, the crunch. Mm. That's gross. I don't think it's bad. I don't think I'd purchase this item again. Um, well, good, because you got fucking... Three quarters of one left. But uh, it's not nearly as bad. I wouldn't spit this out. I would. It's gross. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's that bad. It is gross. It's not gross. It's not good. It's not bad. Gross. Yeah. How many stars would you get this? Three out of ten. Three. Yeah. So you would eat it again. It's a ed- uh, no, not voluntarily. It's edible. Just gross. I mean, I'm not gonna finish this piece. Oh yeah. But I will take this home and make other people try it. 
Just I think about the center like ice cream. I, th <laughs> I think, um, how would you describe, what does this look like? Ass. <laughs> it looks like if you took a hot dog and you put it in a tanning bed and then you, you well, also made it the size of a baseball and then you took the skin off. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't taste good either. It tastes all right. It, uh, it, what if... Do you got bread? Do I got bread? Put it on a little... Like I'm not eating anymore. I, imagine it was I'm on... I'm not putting that in imagine my Imagine it was on a sandwich. If it was with a million other ingredients, sure. You got mustard if I couldn't taste it, and yeah, lettuce sure. and then that Whatever. Thin, thinly sliced Anything, on the sandwich. As long as I can't taste it, it's good. This is, doesn't taste anything like ham, though. Which is probably why I like it. Yeah, because you hate things that are good. Ham's disgusting. Ham is delicious. How dare you? Mm. Big ham is going to come after you. Yeah, I don't think I really like it that much. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was money well spent. Yeah, $12 for this stupid waste of a joke. <laughs> oh, it's not a joke. Is that what they tell you? I mean, there's a chance, there was a chance that I might actually like this product and purchase it again. Was there? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, I saw that and I was like, that's disgusting. <clears throat> I need to try it. Why do you do this? Why do you make me do this? I don't want to do this. What's worse, this or the vegan mac and cheese? Vegan mac and cheese? Yeah, exactly. You smell like a diaper. Do you remember that? <laughs> I do. I, was I wish I didn't. I was gagging. I wish I didn't. Yeah, we spent like 15 minutes walking around in circles because we didn't <laughs> want to try it. I do remember that. It just kept getting worse and worse. And we just dumped it all in the trash. Yeah, because it was trash. It's where it belonged. I don't know what they were going for with that one. This is better than that. Well, yeah, this is edible. Would you eat this in mac and cheese? No. I don't like real ham in my mac and cheese. I want mac and cheese just straight vegan mac and cheese <laughs> not eating vegan mac and cheese <laughs> never again no that was what was that brand was it amy's or some shit trash brand it was gross yeah it was okay i saw it on the shelf in the grocery store and I immediately like felt sick yep like it was that bad it was really bad it's like eating like you modeling you cement like you spit this out mm -hmm. i would eat this you know what i mean freak and no, it's not even that it's good, but it, it wasn't bad enough for me to spit out the vegan mac and cheese was bad enough for me to throw up. Yeah, it was pretty gross. Like if that was the only food on the planet, I would die. I would kill myself. I wouldn't. There's n n I would, I'm out. I'm done. I'm not playing anymore. It didn't. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. Yeah, it smelled like a diaper. Yeah, it's not right. I can't believe people buy that. Happy Easter. <laughs> yep. Happy Easter, everybody. Okay. I should probably get back to my family. Yeah, you want to go? Well, I want to say something first. Oh, yes. All right. All right. I want to say this morning, Easter, it is March 4th, 2021. 2 a.m. this morning, my grandfather died. Uh... Wasn't fun news to wake up to. Kind of uh, bummed me out a little bit, but you know, he was in his 90s, lived a pretty good life, cool guy, was a painter. Uh, sad that he's gone. What did he paint? He was like a paint teacher. He was a teacher. He taught art. Oh, cool. For like an elementary school. He was a cool guy. Do you have any of his painting? I don't. I wish I did. He didn't like... One sell them and when he did like when he was painting was long before I was around so I don't really you know they're all out in the world you said he was 95 he was in his 90s yeah, yeah he's a cool guy um rest he's gone. in peace yeah and with that let's end the podcast alrighty woo